Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorized, and today we'll be looking at common reset problems for an RTS motor. How to spot them, how to solve them. Now the first one is, um, if you try to do a full reset after you've done the first successful reset, just to make sure that it has worked, so that the memory is empty. The problem there is, is that the motor only accepts one successful reset procedure. So the best course of action is, once you've done a full reset, first of all, just try the buttons up and down. If the motor doesn't respond, at least it means that it's out of its memory and so it should be a successful procedure. To test that, press the up and down button at the same time. If the motor jogs or moves up and down, it means you can start the programming sequence. So it means that you can start setting the end limit switches. Now, if that's done successfully, you'll be fine. If you have another problem where um, you take the motor off power for the first three seconds, you then plug it back in and the motor starts moving, then um, you have another problem because it means that the programming sequence has not been ended correctly during the reset. Now, to end that programming procedure, you just press the button and hold it until the, the screen or the blind goes up and down. So when it moves up and down, you've basically closed the memory and you can start with the reset procedure. So then again, you start with three seconds off, three, eight seconds on, three seconds off, etc. So then you follow the procedure and you'll be fine. Now what's another problem that it can occur? Once you've done the first sequence, so three seconds off power, eight seconds on, three seconds off, you plug it back in and you can see that the screen or the blind starts moving. And your first instinct will be to press the stop button to prevent it from going up or down too far. Now that's a problem because that basically terminates the reset procedure. So what do you need to do? First of all, the best thing is that when you, once you start the reset procedure, make sure that your blind is positioned in the middle, so somewhere halfway. So the screen has some, some place to move up or down if it happens. Because it doesn't always happen, sometimes the motor just jogs, so it goes up and down, but sometimes it will move. Now, so when you do the sequence again, three off, eight on, three off, and up again, and you see the movement, just let the screen move until it has reached its end position. It will stop after a few seconds. So normally that should be fine. If there's any damage or if there's any uh, danger of damage, make sure you stop it in time, start again. But let it move if it's possible. Now, once you've done that, you can, you can start pressing the program button and you'll be fine. Now, what's another common error that can occur? That once you've done this, so you've done three seconds on, uh, off, eight seconds on, three seconds off, you put it back in, you let it move until it ends uh, with, uh, with its movement, then you need to press the program button on the back of the remote. The screen will go up and down, so it will jog shortly. But the thing is, you need to hold it for more than seven seconds for it to move a second time. And often the first movement of going up and down is mistaken for a double movement. So you need to be holding this button long enough for it to distinctly move twice. So it's up and down, wait a few seconds, hold it until it moves up and down again. If you don't do that, it was well, not a full reset procedure, so you need to start over again. Now those are the common errors that you can, you can find. If this still doesn't help, the reset procedure doesn't help, let me know. Um, I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. You can leave either a comment uh, for, for one of the videos or you can send an email to info at motorized.it. Thank you. See you next time.